Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today we're going to be emulating one of Nintendo's biggest plunders, the Virtual Boy. There were only 22 games released for the Virtual Boy. Wasn't a great system. Lots of people experienced headaches. Lots of people were nauseous after playing the Virtual Boy. But I actually enjoy emulating it on my PC. This is very simple to do. We're going to be using RetroArch to emulate Virtual Boy. If you don't already have RetroArch set up, I have made a tutorial. I will leave a link in the description. The first thing you're going to need are some Virtual Boy games. Now, all of mine are zipped. They didn't make many of them. I think it was 22 in total and like 14 were released in the United States. There aren't that many great Virtual Boy games, but there are a few hidden gems in here and it's definitely worth adding them to your LaunchBox collection. All I'm going to do with this Nintendo Virtual Boy folder that contains all of my Virtual Boy ROMs is place it in my LaunchBox directory in games. Now I'm just going to place it here for easy access. We can import them directly. I'm going to start up LaunchBox. Since I already have RetroArch set up in here, I'm just going to find a system that I'm using RetroArch to emulate. We'll do Game Boy Advance. I'll right click and I'll open RetroArch. If you don't have it set up this way, you can always go into your emulators directory and start it from there. From here, we're just going to scroll down to Online Updater, Core Updater, and we're going to find Nintendo Virtual Boy, Beetle VB. Press Enter. It's going to download, extract the core for us. We can now exit RetroArch. Now all we need to do is import our games. We're going to go up to Tools, Import, ROM Files. From here you want to go ahead and read through everything. This is the Import Wizard. Click Next. I'm going to add a folder and I'm going to add that full Virtual Boy folder that I added to my LaunchBox directory. I do have mine on an external drive. LaunchBox, Games, Nintendo Virtual Boy. We want to add this whole folder. Click OK and Next. Platform for imported games. We want to drop down and find Nintendo Virtual Boy. Next. Choose an emulator. RetroArch should already be chosen. If it's not, you can use the drop down menu to choose it. Next. Would you like to move or copy your files? I'm going to use the files in their current location because I've already placed them in my LaunchBox directory. Would you like to download metadata for your games? Of course we would. I'll just leave the first one checked and click Next. From here, you can download all the box art. Leave everything checked if you'd like. If you don't want something like fan art, just uncheck it here. Next. If this is your first time importing anything in the LaunchBox, you might be prompted to sign into EMU Movies. EMU Movies is free to use, but they offer a donation option. At least try the free version and see how you like it. There's a lot of great stuff that you can download through there. Next. Would you like to specify any custom options? Not for Virtual Boy, so we'll click Next one more time. Ready to import. The name of the game. The game location. And the extension. Mine are all .zip. Click Finish. At the bottom, you'll get a progress bar. Sit back and relax, let it import and download everything. It could take a little while depending on how many games you're importing. Alright, all of my games were imported successfully. I'll click OK and we'll find Nintendo Virtual Boy over in the left hand column. And it looks like LaunchBox did a great job scraping all of our artwork here. Let's go ahead and start a game. We're going to go with Jack Bros. This is one of my favorite games for Virtual Boy. Double click. You are now emulating Virtual Boy on your PC. So like I mentioned, there's not a lot of great games, but this is actually a really fun game. And most systems should handle this Virtual Boy emulator. It's not that intensive. I'll get into some gameplay real quick. We can also change the palette color inside of RetroArch. We can go from red and black, which we're using here, to white and black. It gives it a different look if you're not into this really red color here like the original Virtual Boy was. We can change it to black and white. If you followed my install tutorial on RetroArch, all you have to do is press L3 and R3 on your controller. It'll bring us back into the menu. Scroll down to Options and Palette. 
So I'll go from black and red to black and white. We're going to back out of here, close content, and we'll restart the game. And we've now swapped the color palette to black and white instead of red and black. I kind of like the white and black. Looks really good. I'm going to exit this game now. Press escape on my keyboard. Or if you have the premium version of LaunchBox, you can set up controller automation and use your hotkeys. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. We really appreciate you watching. There's not much to it. There's a few great games for Virtual Boy, but it does add to your collection, and I think it's worth it. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.